mass wasting the large scale movement of loose material derived from weathering of bedrock down a slope is known as mass wasting it is also called mass movement the term mass wasting is coined due to two reasons one the loose material is actually rock waste and two the total movement down the slope on account of gravity causes the waste of rock debris in higher slopes in mass wasting the presence of water wind and glaciers are contributory factors but the movement is basically on account of gravity the steeper the slope the more rapid is the movement various processes are involved in mass movements such as fall creep slide etc all these processes can be divided into two categories slow movement and rapid movement in slow movements gravity is the main factor water plays an important role but since the movement is down the slope presence of water may not be an important factor slow movements can be divided into two main types the first type is creep the slow downhill movement of debris is called soil creep it may take place in the form of soil creep or rock creep soil creep involves fine weathered rock debris while rock creep involves unweathered block of rock rock creep is not affected much by seasonal climatic conditions it is affected more by distortions and bends in rocks which offer resistance to gravitational pull on the other hand seasonal climatic conditions play an important role in soil creep the second type of slow movement is solidification in this type water mixed with soil forms clay which moves as a thick viscous fluid it is more dominant in certain glaciated areas in rapid movements water is the main factor there are four major kinds of rapid movements landslides earth flow mud flow and sheet wash landslides are most common significant and also observable landslide is the only exceptional rapid movement in which water is not the main factor landslides involve both rocks and soil their movement is characterized by a sharply defined shear plane shear plane is a surface which breaks off and on which movement takes place landslides take place when a support in front of a rock or mass of debris is removed by natural or artificial forces the downslope movements occur in many ways the first is fall in which under the influence of gravity rocks or the fragments fall down instantaneously from steep hill slopes the second type of down movement is slide in which the downward movement is along a certain path most landslides however occur rapidly landslides are often triggered by earthquakes heavy rainfall or by wind action earth flow is the movement of waterlogged material down a slope 
earth flow is common in areas having rich alluvium soils and on hillsides. In mud flow, water content is more than in earth flow. The debris is transported by the stream and rivers as mud. Mud flows occur in areas where vegetation is not present and slopes are steep. In arid regions with steep slopes, mud flows are common during rainfall. Sheet wash involves the rapid movement of rock debris or soils saturated with water-like viscous fluid. During soil erosion, large sheets or layers of soil are removed by agents of gradation like water, wind or glaciers. It is termed a sheet wash. On account of deforestation, the sheet wash has affected many parts of the world. Mass movements or mass waste create varied landforms such as meanders, terraces, scars, ripples, escarpments, mesas, etc. Landslides on Himalayan hill slopes have created many lakes. Because of a wide range of variation in mass movement, the topographic features also vary in size and shapes.